Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be decluttering my lipsticks and my single potted and liquid shadows. If you have not seen my first video where I declutter the rest of my collection, I will link that in the description below. On the screen, I have all of my lip products and I'm, I'm staring at this pile and I feel a little overwhelmed. For me, this is a lot of stuff. I only have one set of lips and I can only wear so much. And I can tell you right now, there's not a ton of this that I wear regularly. So I'm going to sort these out and then I will come back and start going through them. As I have been moving some things around, I've had some time to think and to ponder. And the first thing I want to do is get rid of my liquid lipsticks. I have not worn a single liquid lipstick in a minimum of a year. I can't think of the last time I wore one and that means I'm not using them so they have to go. And my liquid lipsticks are right here. So I have Kat Von D Bauhaus. I have Stila Beso. This is the Too Faced in It's Happening. And then this is the Sephora Luster Matte in Orchid, I think. But okay, look at this. This got stuck in nail glue. It's kind of nasty. So all of these, I'm gonna give away. This one I'm probably gonna toss. Oh, these ones down here are minis, but they are also liquid lipsticks. I have a Tarte lip paint and a Smashbox Always On liquid lipstick, so these are gonna go as well. I also see a few ColourPop lipsticks right here. I also haven't worn any of these in a minimum of a year. This shade in particular, I owned an undergrad and I graduated in 2016. So this, the newest it could be is four years. I know it's older. I think it might be from 2015. And if that's the case, that's nasty. So all of these are gonna go. This one I'm gonna throw away too. Okay, so this one is grunge. I have Oh Snap. Westie and a primer. Yeah, these are all going to go. Where to next? I think the next best move will be to go to the brights or the bold kind of snappy colors. And I have a handful here. And then I have a red. I have all of these. Um, I'm going to put them down. Oh, I also have these two here and then this NARS color. So if I just take a look at my reds for a second, that might be a good move. I also think I have some bite reds. Yes. Okay. So I have cayenne, this nice bright red. I really like this. So I'm going to keep this one, but I do have it in a mini. Yes, right here. 
I will go ahead and give that one away. I don't need it if I have the full size. And then these are the other, along with this NARS, I have some other red shades. This one is from ELF. I have one from Pat McGrath. And I have this one from NYX. And then this NARS Cruella. So I am currently painting this color and I'm gonna keep it. But if I look at the other, the other shades, I am 100% keeping this Pat McGrath. It's relatively new and expensive. But these two, this NYX shade I bought <laughs> sometime in undergrad. This is perfect red. It's old. It, the, the newest it could be is from 2015. That's old and gross and I can't, I can't justify having this. So this is gonna go. And then this, if I'm being honest, if I'm gonna wear a red, it's gonna be one of the other three that I picked up. It's not gonna be this elf color. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And while I'm on it, I'm also going to get rid of this NARS pencil. It's in train blue. And look at how dark that is. That's a super dark color. I don't, I'm not going to wear it. I'm not going to wear a super dark purple. And I guess on that note as well, I have this color from NYX. It is Aria. So this is the NYX color in Aria. It's more purple and obviously lighter, but I wouldn't wear this color either. I don't even know the last time I wore a purple. Definitely not in the last two years, so I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. I'm currently keeping three and getting rid of 14, so I think we're off to a good start. Keeping with this Brights train, I'm gonna say goodbye to this NYX color, sorry, this bite one here. This is a pretty, neutral color, but I do not like this color on me. I've been trying to force myself to paint it for years and I haven't because I don't like it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. And the last handful of brights are these ones back here. They're all Maybelline. I have Lilac Flush. It's another like pur purple orchid color. And then I have Fiery Fuchsia. This one's a cool color, actually. This one right here. And I really like it. I don't have anything else like it. And everything else I have is a true red. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then I have this orange color here. It's a white-based orange and I don't wear it. It's not a flattering color on me. So I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm gonna get rid of this lilac color. It's been a while since I've worn that one too. These Glossier Generation G lipsticks, I really like. There are some darker and more bold colors. So this one here is Zip and like you can build this up to be quite dramatic, but if you just do one swipe, I think this is a versatile color and it is in that brights category, but I really just like the formula. I also have jam. It looks super dark in the tube, but when you swatch it, like that's one, and then you can obviously kind of build it up. And it gives you a more like popsicle stain on your lip. And I'm way more inclined to wear this kind of purple than these two. The last one is like, again, a much more gentle, soft color. And that's kind of what I'm gonna wear if I'm gonna wear a purpley kind of darker, more vampy shade. Unless it's a true red. Because I'm not gonna be wearing purples like this. I'm gonna wear purples like that. I guess on that note as well, I have this lip liner. I don't think I've ever used it. And I don't think I will use it, so. Bye bye This is some kind of glitter. No idea. I, I will not use this anywhere, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. 
these MAC lipsticks. I love them all. It might seem absurd to keep this many MAC lipsticks, but I love each and every color that I have. And I'm gonna keep them all. That made things considerably more easy. Let's tackle this kind of mini situation at the bottom. I have already said earlier that I have a bunch of bite minis. I have cashew, beautiful color. I also have rhubarb. What is this? This is sugar cane. And then this is licorice. Can you see that? Look at that. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't bode well for this lipstick. So I'm going to get rid of it. And even if it didn't have some funky coloration to it, I don't wear it. So that one is saying goodbye. The rest of these, I really enjoy all of these colors. There's like, this is so beautiful. Okay. This is Bite Rhubarb. I love this color. It's this Beautiful dusty mob. It's perfect for the winter time. Chef's kiss. These two, also awesome. Keeping both of those. Last up for bite. These are the last full size down here. I have chai. Such a beautiful shade. I'm just gonna swatch that. Oh, just melts my heart. I love this kind of color. And I also have souffle. Super awkward little swatch there, but I do not wear this color. I bought this a few years ago when I was super into these really pink colors. Not my jam anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, let's tackle these minis. I have RMS color, one by NARS. This is from Fenty. Okay, this is Velvet Teddy, gonna keep that. And then I have this one from Kat Von D. Can you see how similar those look? It's a bit crazy and I can't, I can't justify keeping all of them. So I'm gonna swatch them. They are these four shades right here. This one is RMS. This one is NARS, Fenty. And then this one is Kat Von D at the very end. And looking at them, they are close. And I, I had, I was thinking about these four colors as I was swatching some of them down here. I like the Fenty color the best, this one here. So I'm gonna keep that. That is in thick, she's a keep. The color I like the least is this RMS color. It is in Temptation. It reminds me too much of this bite color here that I don't like, and so I think there's gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile to try it on one last time to make sure of my feelings on that. I'm gonna get rid of this Kat Von D color back here. I'm not a huge fan. And then I'm going to keep this NARS color. So just a handful of products left. I have four lipsticks and then I'll get to the glosses. So these two, this is Becca Sugar, but beautiful nude. I love this color, keeping it. And then this color here, I am working on it in a project pan. It's seen better days. It's kind of nasty, but that's exactly why I'm painting it. These two colors over here are ColourPop, Tiptoe, and What's Your Sign? I need to swatch these. Okay, this one is Tiptoe, and then this one is What's Your Sign? What's Your Sign is a little bit yellow, so I'm gonna get rid of that one and then keep Tiptoe. Last up, are glosses. And I'm going to keep the majority here. The get rid ofs are a bit easy for me. This ColourPop Ultra Glossy, 
Uh, not my preferred gloss shade. Awkward knuckle swatch coming right at you. Yeah, not my not my color. If I'm gonna wear gloss, this ain't it. And also this e.l.f. gloss. I don't like this kind of peachy color. I've realized peachy glosses are just not my thing. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy too. Okay, this is everything that I'm keeping. There's 33 items here, and I do have two lip products that aren't pictured. A pink Joe Fresh gloss, which I'm currently panning, and then a Kopari lip glossy. So I have 35 things that I'm keeping. So about 20 of these are nude bullet lipsticks, and that's a lot. That alone would take me years years to get through so there needs to be more whittling down and i think to do that i'm going to have a lip swatch and ranking video of my new lipsticks i'll probably do that in a couple of weeks and i think that will just be a good way to get a feel for all of the favorite colors of my collection because nude pinks are my favorite and if I swatch them side by side and I force myself to rank them, I'll really get a feel for the breadth or lack thereof in my collection. Okay, next up are my potted single shadows. These are kind of creams and liquids. And this is a lot because I also have powdered single shadows, which I will have to tackle another time. I showed those in my first video. I think the best place to start is with my favorites. And... Those are the Hourglass Scattered Light shadows. I have three. They are so beautiful. I have Smoke, Reflect, and Ray. And these are beautiful because they are glittery and shimmery. And like you can put a light layer on or you can build it up to have extreme glitter. They're just breathtaking. I, I, I can't get enough of them. I love them so much. I equally love these four ColourPop shadows. This one in Ritz is really unique. I have to swatch it. Can you see that? I'm not sure if the camera can pick up the color, but it's such a beautiful, unique, single shadow. It's one that I love to do one shadow looks on because it's so dimensional and it looks awesome on the eyes. I feel very similarly about these. I have a little quirky. I heart this and then Mighty Morphin. So these I'm also going to keep. I found one that was lurking off of camera and this is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Face and Eye Gloss. This, oh my god. Oh my. The consistency of this feels like a lip gloss. And there is absolutely no way I'm going to put that all over my eyes. It's not going to dry down. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Flush. Oh my God, did you see that? This is, it smells like watermelons. <laughs> I don't like this color, pure and simple. It's with this because it's jelly. Next up is this e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter. Now this one, I think I have to swatch. Whoa. Can you see that? Oh yeah, look at that. It's a beauty. I don't know what to do with that. Okay, this is gonna go in the maybe pile for now. This is the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed. It's in Trippin' on Skies. Can 
Can you see that? That's right here. It's super just... Okay, I'm going to try and build this up a bit. It's super chunky, and I have no idea where I would wear this to. It smells like wet plastic. Anyways, I have to put this in a maybe because I'm not sure about it. I have to think about that one. This is the NYX face and body glitter. I'll never wear it. I'm going to get rid of it. These kind of liquid shadows. I love this color. It's Flirty Birdie by e.l.f. Beautiful. This is 24 karat gold. Mm-hmm, that's pretty gold. And then this Tom Ford shadow in Sun Worship. It's cream and powder. Okay. This here is the Tom Ford, and this is the e.l.f. The e.l.f. shade is super bold and punchy. Like, it's loud and in your face. And then this is, oh, it's the Tom Ford. I'm gonna go with the Tom Ford. Having both seems redundant. And if I'm gonna go for a gold color, it's not gonna be this kind of color. This is more of a yellow gold. And I don't think this looks the best on my skin tone. I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'm going to pass this one. I'm gonna pass this along. And then this is Stila Diamond Dust right there i like it it's still going strong so i'm gonna keep that one these glossier lid stars i have four shades i have moon slip cub and then this is fawn i like these i originally had moon and cub first and then i purchased these ones after i haven't worn these a ton and I just kind of want to play with them more. So I'm going to keep all of them. I have this Victoria Beckham shadow. This I got around Christmas time. But can you see in there? It broke off. Like it broke in shipping. This. Look at that freaking dimension right there. Uh, yeah, I love that. I'm going to keep that. And last up are these two Revlon shades. I have Praline, and then this one is Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee. So this one is Creme Brulee, and then this one is Praline. I like Creme Brulee the best, but whew, I'm not really sure what to make of these because they're kind of oily and slippy not really my favorite i think i'll just keep creme brulee for now and then i'll give away mm, i swatched it again here it looks nice i i'm gonna keep them both for now i'm gonna have to play with them a little more maybe i'll have another declutter at the end of the year and i'll just have to wait and see this is everything i am getting rid of i have 20 lipsticks. I have seven palettes. The only one you might not have seen is this roses one. I kind of felt it. I sorry. I kind of uh, found it lurking around. I decided to keep the new nudes palette. I just couldn't part with it yet. I'm going to have to use it and really get my feelings in order about that. Some other things you might not have seen are these eyelashes. I found these lurking around never wear this style. I have a handful of brushes back here and then this mask from the body shop. This clogged my sink. I used it for a few months and completely clogged the drain so I will not use that ever again. I have my foundation sticks here, my glossy halo scope, this glitter, those. I did decide to declutter both of these. Um, the e.l.f highlighter jelly highlighter and then the ColourPop glitterly obsessed while it is beautiful i'm not gonna wear it i have no idea where i'd wear that to 
I also have this ColourPop highlighter, not my coloring, it's pretty pink. And that's it. If my calculations are correct, I'm getting rid of 55 things, 56 things. It's a small purge, but it's really helping me think about what I'm using. And more than anything, if there's more to declutter, I will do that later. I don't want to get rid of stuff for the sake of getting rid of stuff. This project and this declutter is not about that. It's about making room for the things that I love and using the things that I love. And when you just have too much stuff, so much gets neglected. And I absolutely, unequivocally, do not want to get myself in the habit of bringing stuff in and just cycling stuff out. That is 100% what this declutter is not about and what I don't plan to do. That wraps up my little mini two-part makeup declutter. If you like content like this, I will be having a single eyeshadow declutter coming your way soon. Probably another full collection declutter and also a ranking video of my nude pink lipsticks. So if you like that kind of thing, I hope you will consider subscribing and thank you so much for watching. Bye.